in this video we are going to discuss about pigeon hole principle first let us see what is pigeon hole principle and then we are going to solve three examples based on the pigeon hole principle if n pigeons are accommodated in m pigeon holes so we have n pigeons are there and n pigeons are accommodated in m pigeon holes and n should be greater than m let number of pigeons are 8 number of pigeon holes are 5 so 8 is greater than 5 so number of pigeons must be greater than number of pigeon holes let we have uh, n objects and m containers so objects are placed in containers so number of objects should be greater than number of containers so just like uh, just likewise number of pigeons must be greater than number of pigeon holes so pigeons are represented by n pigeon holes are represented by m and n value should be greater than m then one pigeon hole must contain at least here this function is this up arrow here we have only up, upper left square bracket we don't have uh, down uh, square brackets okay this function is called as seal function what is seal function seal function always produces next integer value so let we have seal of 3.2 3.2 means after 3 what is the next integer value 4 seal of 3.8 after 3, what is the next integer value? 4. So, seal function always produces next integer value. Okay. So, here what is the problem here? 1 pigeon hole must contain at least n by m pigeons. Okay. So, 1 pigeon hole must contain at least seal of n by m pigeons. Okay. So, this is the problem. This is about uh, what is pigeon hole principle. Let me have n pigeons and m pigeon holes and n is greater than m then at least one pigeon hole must contain seal of n by m pigeons now let us solve these three examples so for space constraints i am erasing this portion let us see the first problem prove that in any set of 29 persons at least five persons must have been born on the same day of the week so, how many persons are given? 29 persons are given. Here, number of persons are nothing but 29. Persons are nothing but pigeons. Okay. So, number of persons. Number of persons. So, number of persons means pigeons. So, it is denoted by n. n. So, what is, how many persons are given? 29 persons. At least 5 persons must have been born on the same day of the week. So, we have to prove that out of 29 persons, at least 5 persons. So, we have to prove the result as 5. Out of 29 persons, we have to prove 5 persons must have been born on the same day of the week. Okay. So, here uh, a week, okay, totally 29 persons are given. So, we have to prove the result as 5. And uh, we know that a week will contain how many days? A week contain 7 days. Must born on the same day of the week. On the same day of the week. So, a week contain how many days? 7 days. So, these 7 days are nothing but pigeon holes. Pigeon holes. Why? Because we have to prove that 5 persons must born on the same day of the week. week. Week is given. So, week totally contains 7 days. So, this is nothing but m value. So, what is m value? 7. What is the result here? At least one pigeon hole must contain seal of n by m. Seal of n by m. Seal of what is n? n is given as 29 by what is m? 7. So, that is equal to seal of. What is the result of 29 by 7? So, 4 point. So, 7 fours are 29. Next to 4 point. So, we will get 1. So, 7 ones. So, seal of 4.1. We will get seal of 4.1 something. 
So seal of 4.1 means what? It will give the next integer value. After 4, we will have 5. So we have to prove that 5 as the result. So we can conclude that 5 persons must born on the same day of the week. So in this way, we can do the problem. Now let us see the second problem. Let's see what is the second problem. Suppose there are 26 students and 7 cars to transport them. Show that at least one car must have 4 or more passengers. So number of students are 26. So number of students. So number of students are nothing but number of PZNs. So PZNs are represented by N. So how many students are there? 26 students. And 7 cars to transport them. So 7 is nothing but what? A number of PZN poles. Why? Because we know that N value should be greater than M. So N is 26. Uh, 26 is greater than 7. In the previous example also, number of persons are 29. And A V contains 7. So N should be greater than M. So N value should be 29 because that is bigger value. M value should be 7. Why? Because that is the smaller value. In the second problem also, N value is 26, M value is 7. Because 26 is bigger value, 7 is smaller value. Because in the problem only uh, that we have specified as N is greater than M. Okay. And uh, number of cars. So how many cars are there? Number of cars are nothing but what? PZN holes. Why? Because it is smaller value. So M is equal to? 7, 7. So what is the formula here? At least one PGN hole must contain N by M. What is N? 26 by 7. What is the result of 26 by 7? 26 by 7. So 7 3s are 21. So 7 26. 7 3s are 21. 5.77s. So 3.7 something. So this is nothing but seal function. Seal means it always produces next integer value. The next integer value is 4. Here we have to prove that 4 or more passengers. So we got the result as 4. So with this we can conclude that the solution is correct. Now let us see the third example. If there are 6 possible grades A, B, C, D, E, F. What is the minimum number of students required in a class to be sure that at least 7 will receive the same grade. Okay. Here number of students. We have to calculate number of students. What is the minimum number of students? So number of students. That is nothing but students are nothing but here PZNs. We have to find out that value. We have to find out what is N. So we need to calculate what is N. And here what is the result that is given? To be sure that at least 7 will receive the same grade. So the result is 7. So that means N by M result is what? 7. What is N value? N value is not given. We have to calculate N value. N by what is M? M means number of PZN holes. Here the number of PZN holes M value is nothing but number of grades. Totally 6 grades are given. A, B, C, D, E, F. So N by 6 is equal to, they given the result as 7. So N is equal to 42. So number of students, number of PZNs are nothing but 42. In this way, we can solve any problem based on the PZN hole principle. So this is about PZN hole principle.